me. Well, certainly we're divided on this one, Tim, and I think we might be on the next one too. It seems to be like there's a divide between whether investors like to see an exit slide when a company pitches them. So tell me, have you ever invested in a company that's pitched you with an exit slide in their deck? Yeah, I feel like I've seen it a time or two. I'm a seed and series A investor, so it's not necessarily the focal point of any of the pitches we're having. I don't mind it. I'm not looking for it. I don't mind having that conversation of seven to 10 years from now when it's time to exit. What does that look like? Are you going to attack a big enough market where your goal and vision is to try to IPO and go public someday? Or are you going to raise capital in a maybe more conservative and strategic manner where a smaller multiple exit could be attractive to you? So again, I mean, really anything in a pitch deck, I would say I don't mind because it's just the founder showing different ways that they're thinking about the future and growth of their company. Um, so I'm not against it. See, I'm exactly the opposite. I don't want to talk about an exit in the first couple of conversations that I'm having with the company. What I'm looking to do with the companies that I'm talking to is hearing how you're going to build a category defining business. And a category defining business typically is one that gets to a pretty massive IPO or exit down the line. Look, we know exits are going to happen. That's the only way that the founder and the investor are going to make money. And actually, as a matter of fact, 65% com of companies are going to exit. Uh, they're just going to exit without returning the initial capital they borrowed. That's the data that we've seen from the last decade. So exits aren't something that's taboo. I just don't want to make that the focus of any of our conversations when we are deciding whether we want to get into business together. What I want to hear about is how are you going to go out and acquire customers? Why are you different? What is your superpower? All of those conversations have nothing to do with the multiple you're going to exit at, uh, who is going to acquire you, what you think you're going to exit for. The assumption we're coming in when you're pitching me is you want to build this into the biggest business possible. And that's going to hopefully be rewarded by a pretty large exit and a pretty meaningful return for both of us.